Hi everyone! This video will show you what an ethogram is and how you can use it to collect animal behavior data. An ethogram is a list of behaviors that you might see in the animals you are observing that you want to record. You get to decide what you put on your ethogram, and this might depend on what animal you are observing and what question you want to answer with your data collection. There are a couple steps to designing an ethogram. First, you'll want to decide what your question is, because this will determine what behaviors you include in your ethogram. For example, if you wanted to see how animals play with each other, that will tell you that you should be looking for play behaviors. Second, you'll need to decide what animal species you'll be watching. Many animal species act differently, so deciding what species you're going to watch can help you decide what behaviors you should look for. If we wanted to investigate how chimpanzees play, we could look for specific behaviors that chimpanzees do when they're playing. This might be different from behaviors that other animals do when playing, so make your ethogram as specific as possible to your study species. It can be very helpful. Now that we know what species we'll be observing, we can decide on what behaviors we want to measure. For chimpanzee play behaviors, we might want to look at laughing, tickling, or roughhousing. Next, you need to define your behaviors. You want to have a clear idea of what these behaviors look like, so you know exactly what you're looking for when you watch your study animals. If you're unsure, you can spend some time observing your study animals before you begin collecting data. This can tell you more information about what their normal behavior looks like, so you know what to look for when you're actually collecting data. Make sure your behaviors are unique and easy to see. You don't want to confuse behaviors with each other or be unsure of what behavior you should record. For example, if you're interested in examining how your study species moves, you would want to clearly define different types of movement, such as running, walking, or climbing. Each of these behaviors is a type of movement, but they're different from each other, so having them defined before you begin data collection can save you from confusion. So now you have your ethogram. You can use this list of behaviors when you're observing your study animals. Each time you record an observation, you'll choose from your list of behaviors and record this on your data sheet. For example, if we collected data on chimpanzee play behavior, our data collection sheet might look something like this. We chose specific behaviors that we were looking for, and each time we recorded a behavior, we chose from one of our ethogram behaviors. Now we have information on how chimpanzees play with each other.